In today's video, I'm going to guide you step by step on how to use MillerLite for email marketing. Email marketing is one of the most effective ways to connect with your audience, promote your business, and build lasting customer relationships. With MailerLite, you can create professional email campaigns, automate your marketing processes, and manage your subscriber list all from one easy to use platform. Here's what we're going to cover in today's tutorial. First off, how to get started with MailerLite, how to create a landing page to capture email subscribers and grow your list, designing simple email campaigns that engage your audience and drive results. Also, how to automate your email marketing so your business runs on autopilot. And of course, how to send newsletters to keep your audience engaged. But make sure you stick around until the end because I'm going to show you how you can get the best deal possible on MailerLite. Let's dive in. So what you're going to want to do first is go ahead and click the link in the description and you will be brought to this page. Once you are there, you can go ahead and click sign up. Now let's go ahead and get started and sign up. So we'll go ahead and type in the company name or organization, your first name, your email address, and a password. Now we have to go through the verification. So we'll go ahead and confirm our email address. And then we just have to complete your profile. So you can type in your first and last name, what time zone you're in, and then what industry. And then next you want to add what tools you're interested in using. So campaigns, forms, websites, automations, and transactional emails. We'll go ahead and click. So you'll add in all of your address and information. And and then you'll go ahead and make sure you read the anti-spam policy and click confirm. Okay, we have one last thing to complete. So let's go ahead and type in this information. So do you have any subscribers? Nope, just going to start from scratch. What content, health and fitness tips? We'll go ahead and put the description. Go ahead and click next step. Now you have to answer these other questions too. Have you used other email marketing platforms? Yes. Do you sell digital products or services online? Click yes or no. Have you used other website builders? We'll go ahead and click now and confirm starting off with the dashboard here you can see all of your subscribers at a glance so new subscribers unsubscribed we also have emails sent so opens in the last 30 days clicks so lots of good analytics here there's also automation so here you can see active automation workflows subscribers in queue completed subscribers unsubscribed etc same with forms and sites so a bunch of great analytics here shown on the dashboard next is campaigns so this is where you can build and create campaigns which we will review then we have subscribers at a glance. Again, this is where you can add subscribers. You can look at your segments and just overall all of your subscribers. Next is forms. So here you can see where you can create forms, which we will do in a bit. And then next we have sites. So these are landing pages that again, we will go over. And then next is this automation. And then we've got account settings, integrations, file manager, and then my templates. Let's go ahead and take a look at subscribers first, since we need subscribers to be able to send email campaigns. So let's go ahead and just start off by looking up here. So we've got all subscribers, segments, groups, fields, stats, cleanup, active, and history. You also can filter in here by email, groups, fields, or any of the other type of information. So here we can add an example subscriber. So here you can see you can import as CSV, you can copy and paste from Excel, or you can add a single subscriber or import from other areas. So great. Now we've got two subscribers in there. So that's how you can add subscribers manually, or you can also import to add. So here we also have segments. So this is so you can segment your subscribers based on attributes and behaviors. There's also groups which allow you to organize your subscribers based on interest, actions, and more. Here we also have custom fields that you can add in to the emails as well as stats. So you can see again even more analytics which is great. Next you have cleanup inactive. So inactive subscribers are people who either have never opened an email from you or have previously opened an email from you but haven't opened one in more than six months. So here's where you can kind of clean that up and then you can also look at history. So now to get subscribers what we want to do first is create a form let's go ahead and click create and this is again so we can capture new emails so we'll just go ahead and say freebie form maybe we'll create some sort of freebie to capture an email and name so we'll go ahead and click just pop up and we'll go ahead and create a group since we need one this is going to be free workout plan freebie group then we specifically know how we got their email address so we'll go ahead and click continue now we can go ahead and choose a template let's see what they have Perfect. So now we can edit this in any way. We can update the form type. We can edit the width, the background, and everything along those lines. And then here you'll see how we will capture the email. Go ahead and say free workout guide. And then again, yeah, we can edit this, the size. We can edit the colors. So this is completely customizable. Go ahead and look at the background. We will choose something brighter. Love it. Save. Yep. And you can change the heading, font, anything. It's very, very customizable. You can 
can see what it looks like once they have entered in their email addresses. So we can go ahead and maybe we'll preview it. We can also check it out on mobile, which is great. Go ahead and X that out and we'll go ahead and do done editing. So now we want to look at the behavior of the pop-up, okay? So here you can choose when you want the pop-up to start. So it can wait five seconds or you can show when user scrolls 50% or show before closing page, but that does not work on mobile. Here you can set the frequency and you can set up the schedule for the pop-up. So a specific time or just activate immediately. And then there's even more settings like visibility. So you can hide on specific pages, hide on desktops, etc. So we'll go ahead and save. Amazing. And so this is how you would embed it. You can go ahead and copy that there and we have successfully created it, which you would want to embed into your website. Next, we are going to create a landing page. So what you're going to do is go ahead and click sites and then we'll click create. And then here we'll give it a name. We'll go ahead and click a single page rather than a whole website. Now we're going to select the group that we want, which we only have one. So we'll go ahead and click continue. So now we can go ahead and choose a template. We can start from scratch or build with AI or choose a template. Let's go ahead and choose a template. Now that we have the landing page template, we can customize. So here you can see the elements up here like heading, text, image, video, button, divider. We also have different sections that we can add. There's also some other templated sections as well as the style. So the colors, images, and everything like that. And then there's some settings here. So you can tweak the settings for a fully customizable landing page. So we'll go ahead and say free workout guide transform. Okay. So here too, we can select the different types of fonts. We also can do AI suggestions. We can do size. We also can add the link right here. So maybe you'll see one week free of workouts for your body. Again, customize this to whatever it is that you want. You can customize all these buttons, the colors, you can edit the photo, etc. You also can see how we have these sections here and you can move them up and down. Very simple, easy to use. Now we'll go ahead and click done editing. You also can preview it if you would like. Now you'll want to add the URL. So if you want to completely customize this, you would have to upgrade. You also can choose images. You also can add SEO and analytics and custom code. Okay, so now that we've got our landing page set up, we've got a form set up. Now let's actually go ahead and send a campaign. So we want to go ahead to campaigns and select create. We could do a regular campaign, an AB split campaign, an RSS campaign, and an auto resend campaign, as well as a multivariant campaign, which is to experiment with different email variations to see which performs better. We're going to go ahead and do a normal campaign. So you'll add the name, the subject, the pre-header, and the recipients, which we will do all active subscribers. Go ahead and click next. Then here we can go ahead and do the drag and drop editor. So from here, you can customize exactly like we did in the landing page. If you want to add any sections, you can. If you want to add any elements, welcome to my newsletter. Then you'll want to type in all of the whatever you want in the email. Then as soon as you are done, you can preview and test right here. And then we'll go ahead and click done editing. Next up, you can send the test email here again. You also can send it now, send later, or send based on time zones. So let's just go ahead and send later. We'll go ahead and send that Monday. We'll do like 7 a.m. And then you can go ahead and click send. And then it will be scheduled and ready to go. Next, let's take a look at how to automate emails now. This is great if you want to send welcome sequences or if someone has a freebie, you can segment different sections to have different sequences go to different types of people. Okay, so we'll go ahead and click create. Let's go ahead and start off with a simple welcome email. What we'll do is go ahead and click select template. First, you want to set up a workflow trigger. Okay, so this is when a subscriber joins a group or when someone clicks a link or when subscriber completes a form. So super customizable. Then we'll want to go ahead and select the groups since we only have one right now. And we'll go ahead and click save. Now, what we're going to do next is once we have this trigger, what do we want to happen next? Do we want a time delay? Do we want an action? Do we want an email? So with welcome sequences, we typically would want to send an email. Then from here, you can again, customize it to whatever it is that you would like. So we'll just give it a name. We'll give it a subject. You also can insert a personalization. So if you want to add this name at the beginning, and then you'll design the email to be whatever it is that you want. So again, it's with the drag and drop editor. So it's going to be customizable the same way as the landing pages, as well as the emails that we went just went through. Let's go ahead and just go back to the automation for now. Let's continue editing. Then you can again, customize that. And then maybe we want a time delay. So we will go ahead and do maybe three days later, save. So then after that first email is sent, it'll wait three days and then we can do another action. So maybe we want to do another email. Maybe this is like getting to know me. And again, you can design the email and then go ahead and click save. Maybe we want to wait another three days. Go ahead and click save.
save we'll go ahead and do another email and this is maybe like pitch one-to-one coaching or maybe pitch them to go listen to your podcast or whatever it may be but this is very customizable and then if that's the last email that we want in that then you don't have to add another time delay or anything like that you can just end with that email go ahead and save and close now you understand how to get signed up how to get subscribers how to set up forms how to set up landing pages how to send email campaigns and how to automate the process let's go ahead and take a look at the pricing and what the different plans have to offer so depending on how many subscribers you have it depends on the price so first off the free plan which is great and what we were using this is for up to 1,000 subscribers and you can send 12,000 monthly emails one user see and you get 24 7 email and chat support up to the 30 days the key features are the drag and drop editor email automation builder websites 10 landing pages comparative reporting and sign up forms and pop-ups next is the growing business and this is nine dollars a month build yearly for up to 500 subscribers and like i said as your subscribers go up so it does the price you get unlimited monthly emails three user seats and 24 7 email support you also get everything that's in the free plus sell digital products unlimited templates dynamic emails campaign auto resend multivariant testing unlimited websites and blogs unlimited landing pages and unsubscribe page builder the last plan is the advanced plan and this is 18 dollars a month build yearly and again up to 500 subscribers as the subscriber count goes up so does the price so you get unlimited monthly emails unlimited user seats 24 7 live chat and email support you get everything in the growing plan plus smart sending facebook integration custom html editor promotional pop-ups enhanced automations preference center ai writing assistant and partner discounts so they do have a plan for everyone and the great thing is they do have an amazing free plan that you can get started for up to 1,000 subscribers if you want to get started with the best price possible make sure you click our exclusive link in the description to get started that wraps up this video you've now learned how to set up your mailer light account create landing pages design effective campaigns and automate your emails by following these steps you are on your way to building a powerful email marketing system that can grow your business and engage your audience if you found this video helpful please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and leave any comments or questions below this channel is dedicated to helping entrepreneurs creators and small businesses navigate the digital marketing world providing tools and tips and insights to grow your business thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next video Thank you.